No, I mean, I think going into this game, obviously, and I told y'all guys last week, we feel like as a defense, you know, we kind of want to carry the torch. We want to bring the energy, you know, kind of set the tempo. Obviously, you know, their first 15, Shanahan's a great coach. He ran some really good plays, kind of had us on our heels a little bit. But Jack Rabbit, honestly, he kind of quieted everything down, got the interception. And after that, we kind of settled down as a defense. We was flying around, making plays. Uh, and obviously, after halftime, just kind of the message in the locker room was that, hey, even pregame, we was like, man, we got to make this thing gritty. We get, take this thing to the fourth quarter. We get to the fourth quarter, we can win the game. So that was kind of the message at halftime. Like, hey, we got them right where we want them. Let's keep playing, keep fighting, keep wearing them down. What is it about this team, Kevin? It seems like it always kind of rises to the occasion when people, you know, kind of doubt and you ever want to count you out. Yeah, I mean, we, honestly, we don't, we don't really pay attention to the doubters. We understand I, it's been like that since I've been here. We don't pay attention to that type of stuff. We just play our brand of football. We do what we do. And um, like I said, we want to play games gritty. We want to get games gritty, uh, make it close, get it to the fourth quarter, and we'll wear guys out that, that way. You know, that's how our offense is built and our defense, man. I'm just so proud of the guys. Imani got his first pick of the year. Jack Rabbit got his first pick. Guys are flying around. We was punching the ball out. You know, we didn't recover any, but turnovers on fourth down, uh, just big-time effort from the defense. Yeah, I mean, AJ was giving us plenty of juice on the sideline. I mean, this guy, you obviously see, man, how much he means to our team, means to our offense. This guy's bringing the energy. He was out there working them boys. So, I mean, I'm just proud of him. Uh, understand that I know he was rehabbing and didn't really get to practice as much this week as far as, you know, having contact with, with the injury that he had. Uh, but he came out there and he showed, you know, what kind of player he is in this league. Absolutely. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, AJ is one of the most dynamic receivers in the league, you know, regardless of how many years he's been in the league, what the numbers say. But when he's out there, he's playing bully ball. And like I said, I'm just he means so much to, this, to the offense, just how Derrick Henry was when he was uh, when he was playing as well. So we want to have our, our best players out there, especially during this stretch run. Where we're trying to, you know, we're to clinch the AFC or make it to the playoffs. We, we're going to need our best players to play great football down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, you know, it's kind of cliche. We always say next man up and things like that. But honestly, uh, proud of Dylan. I mean, obviously the guy didn't play this much this year. Uh, probably got the news this morning that he was going to have to go out there and start against one of the best defensive ends in the league. And I think he held his own. Uh, I'm sure Todd did a great job of, you know, protecting him or protecting everybody. Because, I mean, he was getting to the quarterback a, a lot of times and he got close a lot of times. But just proud of his effort, proud of the guys. And, you know, we don't really – we don't care about being underdogs. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, we feel like when we play our best ball, we could beat anybody in the league. And, uh, you know, we played a great game tonight. I'm not sure what's been on the wrong side of some free plays. What do you think it did to them on third and 26? The flag goes down. Ryan manages to get to AJ. He muscles it away, and, and, uh, and they convert out of that. Yeah. I mean, those things are demoralizing. Trust me, we went through that a lot last year. We was giving up a whole lot of third and longs, and, those things kind of snowball. Guys are frustrated on the sideline. I'm not sure what's going on in their sideline, but uh, I just know as, as a defense, being out there on the field, uh, it's definitely frustrating, especially when you get guys and get a team in a favorable situation like that. Uh, you almost chalk that up as a win, but when you don't, you know, you got to keep playing. How do you think this game maybe helped you regain your footing as a team, and how important is it now to, to kind of build off this down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, you definitely don't want to don't want to lose, what, two games straight, especially – it's so tight. This AFC is, is the tightest as I've ever seen it. I mean, I think it's like 13, 14 teams that can potentially be in the playoffs. So, uh, Rabel talks about it, and he's talking about it for years and years. Uh, you got to be playing your best ball late in the season. Beginning of the year, you kind of put yourself in a great position. But the team that's improving and keep playing their best ball late in the year is the teams that are going to go to the playoffs. So, it was a huge win tonight for sure. I'm going to spend it with the family, but, I mean, I can't help myself. I'm going to watch ball. Even if the coast weren't playing, I'm going to watch whatever game is going to be on the TV. Uh, I mean, I don't have, like, Sunday ticket or where all the games. Whatever game is going to come on TV, I'm going to watch it. And, obviously, you know, I'm going to be checking the scores and things like that around the league. Settle you guys down with the, the Jenkins interception. What, what exactly, like, got better from there for, for, for the defense? I'm just talking about as far as just the energy on the sideline. Obviously, you know, the offense came, scored on the first drive. You know, offense kind of started off slow, and they drove on, on us again, and uh, he got the interception. Just after that, you can see on the sideline, the energy, uh, the momentum kind of got going. And obviously, the offense still took a little time to get going, but as a defense, when you can get a big play like that, that that's huge because they're the number one team in the red zone, so he was able to stop in the red zone at one time, so it was, that was key. Congrats on the Pro Bowl recognition. You, you, you just 
disappointed a lot of your teammates didn't get it? And would that be maybe a source of motivation for some guys? I know for a fact it was a source of motivation for Jeffrey. I just, you know, just peeping his energy, uh, just understanding that obviously he was definitely deserving to go, uh, if anybody, um, and Harold Landry. But I also think that, you know, most guys don't understand. My first year when I went to the Pro Bowl, I was a second alternate. I led the NFL in interceptions. I was a second alternate. I got in on, you know, technicality, Devin McCourty, ended up going to the Super Bowl and things like that. But usually the first time you have a breakout year, you usually don't get voted in. And, uh, you know, I don't know what it is about, you know, maybe the Titans, we're being underrated, only got one guy in the Pro Bowl, which obviously I'm happy. But at the end of the day, it'll been, it's gonna be, it would be great if I'd have my other guys voted in. But, you know, hopefully we can get those guys in as well. But, you know, honestly, I'm trying to be in the Super Bowl, so I don't want to play it in any way. He does it every week, does a great job of keeping us focused on the task at hand, the game at hand, not concerned about, you know, the next game here, the next game here, just try to keep our mind focused. And obviously he's relaying that to the leaders on the team, myself, Tanny, uh, Jeff, and all the other guys to make sure we're keeping guys locked in on, you know, on the present moment. I mean, maybe it's a Bill Belichick thing, whatever you call it, but honestly focus on that day, that meeting, that practice. And, you know, that, that's, I think that's the only way you can, you know, be successful in this league. You're focused on the right now.